I've been developing my work, Wholeness in Motion, for the last 40 years. Wholeness in Motion, or WIM, is in essence about a worldview, a wholeness worldview. When that's active in ourselves, we feel more at peace, more integrated within ourselves and with the world around us. And that may at first sound philosophical, a worldview, but the worldview has the most practical implications on all areas of our life. Imagine having an electric car and taking it to someone and they identify it as a combustion engine and there's some troubles going on in the car and the tools they use and how they understand what's going on it um, comes from a completely inaccurate idea of how the car actually works. And then you get it to someone who knows that it's an electrical vehicle that can see that the heat and the star issue and the screen are all interconnected. That person will first have to put the parts together and then start to work on issues, some of which were just created because the vehicle was misunderstood and misinterpreted at what it is. So what if we are whole and connected with the world, but living in a dominant society where we're understood as parts and disconnected? WIM offers wholeness-rooted tools for addressing all areas of life. The work is experiential and it honors multiple ways of knowing. So we might look at research study and anatomy book in one moment and then do some guided movement, a meditation, some hands-on table work to support like, like deeply listening to internal sources of information, inquiry or how to ask questions to gain clarity, seeing and holding the awareness of the whole you, of the innate and healthy and, and health and intelligence of you or your client, um, the ability to weave the parts back into a whole, including with the earth. These are some of the skills that are part of doing WIM work. This, has, this work has helped, um, and these tools have helped people with physical pain, knee, back pain, recovering from injury, headache, anything that you might see a PT for. Um, and then also help people in those areas that we might think of cognitive or emotional, like uh, performance anxiety, general anxiety, loss of life's focus, loss of trust in oneself. Um, and then also um, coaches, the work coaches at leaders and educators who um, in wholeness-rooted strategies to help their work be more fully consistent with this wholeness worldview. Um, so, you know, you might feel some disquiet when you're um, teaching a, some alignment work, feeling that, that you're kind of dividing the body and mind, even though it's, you know, it's integrated. Or you might have, as a teacher, again, give, giving feedback that tends to put you in power over your students. Um, or you're finding yourself yet again lecturing and you wish you had some more experiential ways to convey this information. These are all areas and so much more WIM has been helping leaders and educators with for a long time. So I invite you to do some one-on-one -on -one work or online that you can do in person or online. And we're always scaffolded to you know, what, you're, what you're concerned with. Or take an intro class, join the Living Wholeness um, Year work that gives you regular short doses of wholeness. Just poke around the website that has access to lots of free re resources, recordings, and so forth. And, and I invite you to the, in, experience this approach that supports a wholeness worldview. It isn't a new approach. I'm clear on a new worldview, but the approaches are honed for this time in this world. It's one of the most hopeful, important shifts we can make in this struggling society. And it's time to dismantle the in, inaccurate, divided, dualistic, dominant world that is keeping us warring and oppressing others and um, feeling broken inside. So it's really time to remember our wholeness. Thank you.